Now the elephant in the garden, this book. The one that's just come out. No one's read it because it's only just coming out at the moment. I listen to the radio a lot. I don't sleep very well. And in the middle of the night, about two years ago, I turned on the radio because I couldn't sleep. And I heard this amazing story. And I will tell you the story and it will amaze you too. There was a story about Belfast. And it was during the Second World War. And it was about a lady who worked in the zoo there. She was the elephant keeper in the zoo at Belfast Zoo. Now, you will know that during the Second World War, bombers came over from Nazi Germany and bombed the big cities all over the UK. They did that to knock out the factories, to knock out the docks. And in Belfast, they built a lot of ships and a lot of factories. And they were expecting the bombers to come. This lady went to work one day. And the director of the zoo called her or them and all the people who worked into his office and said, look, I've got something terrible to say to you. And I've got to tell you, we've had orders that if the Germans come to bomb Belfast, we have to shoot all the animals in the zoo. All the big animals have to be shot because if the zoo gets bombed and the cages are broken, they can get out into the city. And that would be dangerous. So whether we like it or not, we've got to shoot them. And we've got to be ready to do that. And he was just preparing them mentally that they were going to have to do these dreadful things to these animals that they all loved. This lady went up to him afterwards, really upset, and said, look, you cannot do this to... I understand why, she said, but you cannot do it to this elephant of mine. She had brought up an elephant on her own virtually because the mother had died on a bottle and loved this elephant. It was only a couple of years old, quite small, and she adored it, and it was very, very tame. And she said, look, this elephant is no danger to anyone. And he said, I can't make exceptions. If the bombers come, I've got to do it. They'll come at night. You won't be here to look after it. And she said, oh, yes, I've got an idea. I will take the elephant home to my garden each night and bring it back to work in the morning. That way, I will be looking after that elephant 24 hours a day. It will never be out of my sight. I guarantee you it will do no one any harm. And he gave in. And the true story was that this lady used to go to work at Belfast Zoo, and every evening she would go back along the street with her elephant and keep it. It's true! And I'm thinking in the middle of the night, it can't be true, it can't be true. I woke up at about half past six, I thought, did I hear that story right? Did I hear that? I went to Google. I googled up Belfast, Blitz, Elephant, Zoo. And up came a photograph of the very lady I'd been hearing about the night before. You can do it yourself. It's called Belfast Telegraph. There's this photograph, black and white photograph, of the lady in her garden with her elephant. And I'm thinking, yes! Brilliant story! It was just wonderful. I thought, now I've got to write the story. But then I'm thinking, no, no, no. I've written stories already about the Blitz in England. I didn't want to write another story about wartime here. And I had a kind of a funny moment when I thought, wouldn't it be much more interesting to write a story about the other side? Because we bombed Germany. It was that kind of a war. It was bombing one city, bombing another city. So I thought, what's the worst bombing that happened in Germany? What do I know about? Dresden, a city called Dresden which we bombed in 1945, and there was a great firestorm, and many, many, many tens of thousands of people died. I googled up Dresden, and what came up was this. Was it in the zoo at Dresden? That an order went out that when the Americans and the British came to bomb, which they would do, all the animals were going to have to be killed. So I simply changed the story around. And this story, and you can see from the front cover, it's a story of the plane's going over, and these American and British bombers going over, and you can see the raging fire. And it's a story about a family, a boy, a girl, the mother, who is an elephant keeper. And I'll just read you a tiny bit from it, and then I'll shut up if you're lucky.